kids, today we have a quick demonstration video featuring these washi tape dispensers from Muji. And possibly these particular washi tapes, although probably some other washi tapes I've got in my collection. I picked all of these goodies up while I was in the Bay Area recently for the Alternative Press Expo, AKA APE. And I thought you guys would be interested in a demonstration. So, these Muji tape dispensers are very, very simply put together. They have a serrated edge. They are fairly sturdy plastic. They've got the spindle area, and then this removable bit holds your tape in place. And we've got some really cute tapes from either Ichiban Khan or from Daiso. And these might actually be a little too large for this dispenser, so I may have to break into my washi tape stash and grab one of those. And these are made by Amifa, and the more I think about it, the more I think these are probably from Ichiban Khan. So I picked up some really cute designs. I picked up this little Red Riding Hood design. I picked up a Daruma animal design, and then I picked up a measuring tape design. I thought all of them would complement my work and 7-inch Kara quite nicely. So I'm going to grab a washi tape with a smaller middle section, of which I don't have too many at hand, but I do have these kimono tapes. I got these from Amazon. So we'll test with one of the Amifa masking tapes. Oh, okay. Got some fountain pen ink on me. Always, huh? And then we'll test with one of these kimono tapes. Go ahead and unpack one of these on camera for you guys. Fairly simple to get going. All right, so we remove the spindle. We load in our washi tape. This would also work for, say, paper tape. And it's got a fairly large spin radius. And ta-da! We've got a cute washi tape dispenser for like, I think the, let's see, how much are these from Muji? It says it's 126 yen, or 126 yen. Um, I think I probably paid like 250 for them instead. Given markup. And let's try one of the Amifa. Much too big, really. So this is not really a good option for the Amifa. However, if you've got some post-it note tape, well, that's too big too. So I think we're just going to stick with kimono tape. I believe duct washi tape and MT washi tape, so most of the standard available sizes will work. Also, say, like a regular color scotch tape will work. And it probably it seems like, no, it doesn't actually matter whether or not it's closer to the spindle. They seem to run equally well. So, if you have a Muji in your area, and apparently it is a East Coast thing as well as a West Coast thing, just not a Nashville thing, and you've got an art supply or craft supply collection that needs to be tamed, and you've got a washi tape hoard, these cute Muji dispensers might be the thing just for you. And since I've got you guys, we're going to quickly take a look at these Amifa washi tapes that I picked up at Ichiban Khan. Like I said, I've got cute little measuring tape pattern. Doesn't really seem to be actual centimeters. That would be pretty handy though, wouldn't it? It'd be a really nice little scale demonstrator. We've got the Daruma animals. And I adore cute washi tapes. I would love to do some Kara ones at some point, and I almost super splurged while at eight and bought some, but unfortunately for me, there was a voice of reason saying don't spend $10 on washi tape, no matter how cute, so I didn't. But these are not quite as cute necessarily as artists designed washi tapes. There's definitely an amount of cachet to having cute customized washi tapes, but they are super stinking cute. Takes a little while to get to the little red. And that's the last one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little demonstration video. 
of art supplies from Muji and from Ichiban Khan, and I hope you consider subscribing for loads more art supply reviews and demonstrations. I'm Becca Hilburn. As always, it's a pleasure to see you guys. Bye!